Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. We're up here in the radio shack with the new ICOM IC7300. One of the Comms Prepper helpers is up here helping me with the camera work, so we're going to try working with two cameras tonight. She's got the handheld camera, and I'm using the better camera here to look directly at the display of the radio. Tonight's video is going to be about setting up and connecting the SCS Pactor 4 P4 Dragon Pactor modem to the ICOM IC7300. ICOM kept the same accessory jack from the 7200 and the 7300, so I'm able to reuse my cable for the IC7200 that I have at the retreat location. There's some basic things you have to do before you get on the air in running digital modes. Uh, one of the things you want to do is set the drive level out of the modem. This is the PSK level and the FSK levels. Now the manual for the SCS modem talks about aligning the levels out of the modem if you're using the microphone jack and working with the ALC level. With this radio, we're fortunate that we have a dedicated accessory jack in the back, so the alignment procedures mentioned on page 85 in SCS's manual really don't apply. I called Farallon Electronics where I got the modem and talked to Gary out there, and he basically said, set the radio up, full power, upper sideband, and increase the drive levels for the PSK and the FSK until you hit 70% of the expected power. So if it's a 100 watt radio, once you hit 70 watts, the levels are correct. So as you increase the level, you'll get more RF power out. As you decrease the level, you'll get less RF power out. And what you're looking for if you're using this method is about 70 watts of power out. If you're putting in too much power from the modem into the audio circuits, you can distort your signal and that can corrupt your data and cause problems with your digital communications. Now I've already found my levels. My levels are 75 and 75. So now that we had the levels all set correctly, we have to do a few more things with the radio. First thing when you're running data is you never want to run full power. So we hit the multi button here and we're going to reduce the RF power to 50%. And we'll hit return and that'll go away. So once you set your power setting, then you want to set the radio to digital mode. Like I said, the ICOM IC7300 has a dedicated port in the back. So I'm going to press USB here and come down to data. And now it says USB-D, which means data. Now out of the box, the IF filter skirt is too tight for the Pactor modem. The Pactor modem wants 2.4 kilohertz of IF bandwidth. So I'm going to press and hold the filter button here. And now it's showing you the bandwidth that I have. It's showing me 250 hertz of bandwidth. That's way too narrow. So what I'm going to do is press and hold the bandwidth button here. And now I can rotate the main VFO knob and increase that bandwidth for that filter to exactly 2.4 and now we're ready to go so we've set our levels in the modem and I already did that earlier to 75 and 75 and that's the audio level coming out of the modem driving the radio we've reduced our power to 50 percent we've set our bandwidth and we put the radio in the USB digital mode so now I'll have to roll over to the software and pick a frequency we'll use the antenna tuner here we'll tune up the radio and see if we can't connect and send and receive some HF radio email. So let me go ahead and get the software set up and we'll be right back. So we'll do a quick recap. We've set our level on our modems. We've fixed our bandwidth so it matches what the manual calls for in the SCS manual, 2.4 kilohertz. And we've loaded up the software and now we're going to actually change the frequency, tune up the antenna and connect to a station. So first thing I want to do is change the band. The frequency I want to connect to is 3589.5. So that's the 80 meter band. More nice features about the ICOM IC7300. I just tap on the 14 and it drops you right down to 3.5. My operating frequency I want is 3589.5. Of course it's already there. But if I adjust the VFO, you can see these are the numbers changing here. But if I want a more coarse tune, I can actually press here, and now I've changed where I'm tuning at. That's a more coarse tune. So we'll go back to a fine tune here. We're going to go to 3589.5. I went past it. And we're almost there. There we go. Now for my mode of operation, it's already in upper sideband for digital, but we can go over there and set it to upper sideband. Let's say we're operating voice, now we want to operate in digital. We'd come over here and hit USB and hit data, 
and now we're on the data mode which means the microphone's not being used the radio is looking for input audio from the accessory jack in the back so we have our operation mode correct USB digital we have the correct filter selected so we have 2.4 kilohertz of IF bandwidth we check our power we're at 50 percent you'll notice the compression window is gone because we're in the digital mode so there's no compression through the accessory jack now if you have another type of radio that uses the microphone jack you want to make sure you turn that compression off but since we're in the digital mode going through the accessory jack it's not even an option anymore so I think we're all set to make a digital connection here I'm going to use the mouse here and hit the start button and start calling out to that station Now here we have the waterfall, we have the audio frequency displayed in the, what they call the frequency domain, 0 to 3 kilohertz, and then we have the frequency represented here, the transmit audio in the time domain, an oscilloscope, and we actually have a connection now. And we'll adjust the level, expand that out. So this is that other stations and my station. This is our transmit audio in the frequency domain, and that's the time domain, but we have a good connection at PacTor 3 speeds using the ICOM IC7300. And now we have a little bit of interference there, but we're still making our connection. And the connection's wrapping up now. We're going through the disconnect cycle. and we disconnected. So that other station you hear there is somebody who powered up their radio and wasn't monitoring and started interfering. But that's a quick lesson on how you can set up your digital modem to connect to your ICOM IC7300 and some of the steps you have to take to get it fine-tuned to work correctly. There's not a whole lot to it. Check your power, check your bandwidth, make sure you have the right filter, make sure you set it to data mode. Of course you want the right cable. Uh, the cable I'm using here I got from Farallon Electronics, I'll put a link down below. But Handmade Parts also makes cables, and I'll put a link down to their site as well. And remember guys to turn your power down to half, 50%, and make sure all digital signal processing is turned off, and compression is turned off. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper doing a somewhat lengthy video on how to set up your SCS Pactor modem to talk to your ICOM IC7300. Thanks for watching guys.